Okay, for the next step, we're going to create what will later uh, be the basis for a holographic projector uh, when we add in some nice lighting effects. And that's going to be made out of a cone. Okay, so what I want you to do is start by creating a cone. Um, size isn't really important at this point because you can resize it later, but I'm going to have it. I'm going to I'm going to go for about the right size straight away. So about that, and then the height, about that. So I'm looking to create that sort of shape. And what is important now is we're going to do some vertex modeling. So we're going to need to be able to access and manipulate the vertices, which are the points that make up uh, a 3D model. Uh, but in order to do that, we need to create some. At the moment, there aren't enough to change the shape uh, of this cone in any real way. So in order to do that, I need to go to the inputs of polycone 1 and click on it. And then there's something called subdivisions height and that is how many times we're going to divide this shape um, on the way up. So I'm going to change that to 5 and hit enter and there you'll see we've now got a lot more vertices that we're going to be able to play with. Now for this shape <coughs> to make sure that I get it right I'm going to model this in uh, one of the orthographic views which makes it much easier um, than trying to model in the perspective view and I highly recommend that you copy what I'm doing. So I tap spacebar um, and then I'm going to tap it again with my mouse either over the front or side view. The front view looks quite uncluttered so I'm just going to tap spacebar again and then press F to frame up this shape um, so that it's filling my screen. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start creating my shape. First of all I need to right click and hold on the shape itself. Now at the moment it's in object mode. We need to change it to vertex mode in order to be able to see the vertices and manipulate them. So once you've done that you'll notice that the colour changes and you get little purple marks where your vertices are. Now what is also important to note about this step is that if I just click and hold shift to select these points here that will then look like I've got them all but I haven't got them around the back. If I just show you in this view they're only selected on one side and we need to make sure that they're selected all the way around. Now the way to do that is to just drag a box, click and drag to select all the points that you want and then if I show you in this view that's got them all the way around, they're all selected which is what I want to be able to do now in order to manipulate this shape we're just going to use two tools, we're going to use a translate tool and the scale tool okay and it's important that you manipulate in the right direction uh, to be able to get this right so first of all what I want to do on this first row, the bottom row stays where it is on the ground I'm just going to move this up, notice that I'm not clicking the manipulator in the middle because I want this um, to only move up, if I move my, thing, my mouse side to side it's not moving side to side which is what I want whereas if I grabbed it from the middle it could go all over the place that's not what I want so I'm just going to move that up to about that height there now I'm going to select the next point I'm just going to move those down slightly but importantly here is I'm going to scale them out a little bit now this is important I'm going to scale using the middle manipulator if I just scale from the side it'll make it a funny shape and I'll just show you an ex extreme example of that. I want this to remain perfectly circular all the way up. If I just manipulate it in this shape, so I'm going quite far with this, but then if we check it in this view you can see that it actually becomes an oval, not a circle. Um, so I'm going to undo that and then when I grab from the middle this scales in all directions at once so that'll make sure that it remains a circular shape. So I'm just going to make it so it's got a little bit of an indent going there. Then I'm going to select the next row up, I'm going to move those down about the same distance again uh, but then using the scale tool and manipulating from the middle manipulator I'm going to go sort of halfway in between the last two sets of points to create a nice little sort of indent and then that just leaves two rows left to do, I'm going to drop this row down to about there again I'm going to scale this out to create a sort of a hole in the top of it which is where the light is going to be emitted from and then finally I just need to bring this last point down and I'm going to drop that right inside the middle like this 
to create the overall shape. So this is the shape that you need to make sure you've created before you move on. And just so you can see what that looks like, um, I'll put it back into object mode. And then when it's finished, it should look like that. Okay, so that's the shape you're going for. Once you've done that, um, you can go for the next step.